Hello everybody, I'm glad to be here. Today we are going to talk about collection plane indicator and direction feature indicator. Here for collection plane indicator, we are going to have this circle on left hand side. What does it mean? It means we are going to consider all intersection with that plane. For example, let's see this first example. We are going to have this profile aligned symbol here, and then we are going to have this all around or collection plane indicator. Here we have A, the parallel plane to A. We are going to have this intersection. We are going to have this cross section all around, not just this top intersection all around of that intersection should be in that tz in this specification plane a and b are not considered let's see the second example here at the bottom we are going to have this profile align and we are going to have all around or collection plane indicator and we are going to have intersection plane in the indicator here we have all around it means all cross section here we are going to have this cross section it should be in that interval and we have another let's say intersection plane indicator that's why we are going to include this plane a and b here at and also at the end a and b will be included here because we are going to have this intersection plane B. Let's see another indicator, direction feature indicator. We are going to use this indicator for non-cylindrical shape. Let's see on right hand side the simple example we have talked about this. And then we are going to have this circularity for this cylinder with this TZ. We are going to have two coaxial circles with this TZ. Plus minus 0 0.8, it is 0 0.16. That for each cross section should be in between these two circles. Let's see here. On top left, we are going to have the first example. We have this conical shape. We are going to have this circularity. And then we are going to have this indicator. It means any plane perpendicular to A, we need to have these two coaxial circles with this distance. And for that cross section, that curve should be between these two coaxial circles. Another example is here. We are going to have non cylindrical shape here, and then we are going to have circularity perpendicular to A. It means for each cross section perpendicular to A, we are going to have two coaxial circles with a distance of 0 0.04, and that curve should be in that interval. Let's see another example here. On top left we are going to have roundabout for this curve here and we are going to measure the roundabout for this specific direction 40 it mentioned here it means the prop should be in that direction and we are going to have two curves parallel with this distance 0.1 and the curve should be in that interval when we are going to put the prop in that angle. At the bottom, what do we have? We are going to have a conical shape and we are going to have roundabout perpendicular to C. We are going to have two coaxial circles and the TZ is 0.1, the distance between these two coaxial circles is 0.1 here yeah, just i'm going to recall what does it mean when we are going to have let's say this round about 0.3 respect to a 
the dial gauge is in perpendicular to that. But in this example, you would like to have dial gauge in the in that specific direction, 40, at, as it is highlighted here. Okay, let's see here. Again, let's see example number number one. We are going to have profile surface, TZ is 0 0.2, and then we are going to have S set. It is separated zones, and here we have all around parallel to A. Here, A is here, all around is all this cross section, all around for different planes parallel to A, but here we have SZ. SZ means separated zones. Here we are going to have four different features and they are separated. For each of them, we are going to have this TZ 0.2 as it is shown here at bottom left. In example number two, we are going to have the same situation all around and TZ is 0.2 and this profile is surface and here in the set of SZ separated zone, we are going to have CZ combined zone. It means all of them are combined and they have this, this TZ as I'm going to show it by mouse. In the middle bottom. In third example, we are going to have all around parallel to A and we are going to have a united feature. It means we are going to have just one feature and this TZ is going to roll across. That's why we are going to have these round corners here. At these corners, we are going to have round corners. But in combined zone, we didn't have these round corners. But here we have it. That is the difference between united feature and combined zoom. In combined zoom, each of them, they are combined, but each of them, they have this TZ. The TZ is not going to roll. But here, in united feature, the TZ is going to roll around that. That's why we are going to have round corners. For now, I would like to close this session. In coming session, I'm going to talk about this SZ and CZ and also the sequence of these modifiers. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.